Alright, what up YouTube, it's Plock the Master Gamer here, and today we're playing some more Jedi Fallen Order. And in this video, I wanted to show you guys a neat little trick. It's not really like a glitch or an exploit, I guess it's just kind of like a little bit of an oversight on the uh, developer's behalf. So I guess it kind of is a, an exploit uh, to some extent, but it has to do with your force pull ability and your ability to swing on ropes. So as you can he see here, you can use your force pull ability to, you know, grab things from far away such as these dumbass little things here that I'm playing with. But you can also use your force pull ability to pull, you know, the swingy rope things that you can, you know, swing from to jump to different places. You can pull those towards you to grab onto them. And of course, the game has ones that you're supposed to be able to reach from certain spots. Um, but as you can see here, there are ones that you can kind of barely reach from other places, and you can do some funny stuff with them. Now this one in particular isn't necessarily that great of an example because, you know, it doesn't really, you, you don't really achieve much by reaching it from down here, but as you can see from standing here, you can actually reach ropes that aren't necessarily supposed to be reachable from where you are, and you can not only do that weird little hover thing, but as you can see here when I actually get it in my hands, it'll, it'll kind of snap you up and it'll It'll launch you up to areas that you really shouldn't be able to reach in that way. As you can see here, I did like a jump and force pull thing, and it managed to get me up to this top floor here, like, with almost zero effort. So, I mean, there's definitely some things you can do with these. I mean, you can, I don't know if you can necessarily get to any, like, out-of-bounds places using that, but it can definitely make for some pretty neat little shortcuts. Um, you know, you can avoid doing a bunch of climbing if you just do, like, a jump and force pull on that rope. It'll snap you up here towards this area here. All right, so just real quick, I kind of want to recap what happened with these two instances here. So with the first instance, you can see I, I reached it from a bit further away than that upper platform. I did just kind of a jump and force pull on it, and I didn't actually fully grab the rope. And what that causes you to do is it causes you to go forward with the rope, but it, you don't gain any elevation. So you stay at your like current elevation and you just kind of glide forward. Now with the second scenario, you can see that I got up on this higher platform so that I could reach the rope a little better. And you can see that the rope doesn't really reach even from there. Uh, if you just kind of stand here and pull it towards you, it doesn't quite reach your hand. And so what you gotta do is you kinda gotta pull it towards you so that it's closer when you do the run and jump towards it. And then you pull it towards you while you're in midair. And since it's already kinda closer to you from pulling it towards you the first time, uh, it, it ends up snapping into your hands and then it pulls you upwards towards that upper section. Now again, this isn't necessarily like the best place or example of a scenario for, you know, utilizing this trick, but understanding, you know, how you can utilize these ropes to your favor, not only in their like actual usage in terms of how you can actually swing on them, but being able to access them from places that you weren't necessarily supposed to be able to access them and understanding, you know, what kind of effects you can get from them. You know, you might be able to reach some pretty cool, you know, spots in other locations. You never really know what you can accomplish and, you know, so this is of course I don't I don't think at this point I have the double jump feature yet so this this allows you to access certain places that you might not be able to access without obtaining certain powers first so uh, it might be a way for you to access certain things early on in the game. Again, I can't, you know, necessarily think of any specific scenarios in which this would actually be super useful, but uh, it's good to know. And, you know, you can see there that it at least functions as, like, a way to use shortcuts because it can get you up to the top level without having to climb. You can just snap to that rope and get to the top floor instantly. So, I mean, if anything, it's a it's a good shortcut, but I'm sure there's definitely some spots in the game where this would grant you early access to, you know, some secrets or something that you shouldn't have without unlocking a certain power first. But anyways, that's about it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys this cool little trick that I figured out. I don't know if anybody else has figured this out too, or if there's any other videos like this on YouTube, but uh, this is just something that I figured out and I decided I would record it and make a video so that uh, you guys could utilize these tricks too. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video, found it useful or whatever. If you did, make sure to leave a like, it definitely helps me out. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you want to check out any more of these videos or any of my other gaming content for that matter. And yeah, with that being said, this has been Plock the Master Gamer with some Jedi Fallen Order, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.